Hey, good afternoon. It's uh, November 2nd. And uh, welcome to Everyday Talks 24-7. This is another in this ongoing series I have about being able to distinguish the difference between a future husband and a boyfriend. I've got several videos on this already. This is number seven, 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 yes, uh, we're looking at. And this aspect today of the difference between a boyfriend and a future husband is this. A future husband is committed to giving without the expectation of getting something back, without the expectation of receiving. Because this is what a husband is about. Why is that? Because a husband is modeling the love of Christ. And Ephesians 5 makes it very clear that husbands are to love their wives the way that Christ loves them. Jesus does not love us to get something back. He loves us to make us something special, to bring honor to God. A boyfriend's focus, because boyfriend didn't originate out of a biblical construct. It originated out of a cultural construct. And no matter how well-meaning the boyfriend may seem to be, there are barriers there, just like this fence behind me here. He's hemmed in because he's not committed to the long things. He's not committed to the uh, literal eternal good of his girlfriend, who might be his future wife. That's not his idea. That, that's not the construct. A true husband a, and a future husband who's going to be involved in the right sort of thinking will be committed to giving without the expectation of returning. That's not the definition of a weak man. That's the definition of a man who has great strength. It's important for future husbands to understand, for future wives to understand, for parents, for women to understand, that women are wired to respond well to giving being cared for because that's the way it's supposed to happen but just like with emotion just like with any form of love if the desire of the husband is not rooted in bringing honor to God first but is rooted in serving himself first then that sets the future wife the girlfriend up to be manipulated and there are far too many marriages which are based upon manipulation. See, manipulation always looks to get something back. Even if it has the appearance of serving, even if it has the appearance of, of really caring for someone, that's all done so that you get something back. As we looked at earlier in this series, in the Gospels, Jesus warns against this in Luke chapter 6. Don't those who, the pagans, don't they love those who love them? Don't they give when they expect something back? That's the way the world operates. That's not the way God operates. That's not the way a man who is committed to serving God operates. Rather, he's going to be giving to get something in return. It may appear to be very subtle, but this is how manipulation begins in relationships. And sadly, this is what leads to abuse in relationships. Because the men are the abusers, sometimes women, but we're talking about men here since we're talking about future husbands and boyfriends. The men are giving in such a way so that something is returned back to them. They give in such a way that causes the woman to feel guilty or feel obligated to do something for them. They feel like, oh, this is done so, oh, I've, I've, I've got to give to, because he's given so much to me. That works with God. It doesn't work with people. Because my first reference point in love, anybody's a future husband, future wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever it is, man, woman, child, whatever. Our goal has got to be to give honor and glory to God first 
and not to get back for ourselves. If we give honor to God first, then the very best things will happen to us. What happens in relationships where boyfriends take on this role of a husband that they can never be, they do nice things for you, or they do things for you, which have a cause, a purpose, a, a driving force of making the girlfriend, the future wife, the woman committed to that man. That's where the danger is. This type of giving is giving looking for a return. Selfless giving is giving without looking for a return, except to bring honor to God. So manipulation always leads to taking from and quite often into abuse. So what may appear wonderful now, what may appear like, wow, he's giving me everything. That is the doorway, the gateway to walking in to being committed to the man rather than being committed to God. And once that happens, anything is possible up to and including abuse. Whether it's verbal, manipulative, relational, physical, sexual, or a combination of all of those. Men without a focus on loving God will make things focused on the woman in such a way that his pleasure comes from her doing what he wants. And then she feels guilty if that doesn't happen. Under that umbrella, all kinds of things can happen. Sexual activity can happen. You know it's not right before God, but because of you have this obligation to this man who's given to you, you respond, not to God, but to the man. A man who's going to be a future husband will not treat you that way. He will not be about him first. He will be about what does it take to bring you closer to God and not to bring himself pleasure. So that's this, this next point in this series. A future husband has the ability to give without wanting and demanding something back. And we're gonna keep talking about this, but again, I love your thoughts, your feedback. I've got some really excellent comments already. So give me some feedback on this, because there's so much here to think about. Again, I love doing this series with you. I'm going to continue it. We have many more on, uh, on this section of the difference between a boyfriend and a future husband. Future husbands, that's where you want to go. That's what you want to look for. Again, thanks so much for being here. And uh, Lord willing, we'll see you the next time when we talk about boyfriends or future husbands. Have a great day. Bye-bye.